Welcome back to our journey through the realm of resistors. In this episode, we'll unravel the mysteries of Ohm's law, a fundamental principle that lies at the heart of electrical circuits. So, let's embark on this electrifying adventure and explore the fascinating world of Ohm's law. Ohm's law, named after the brilliant physicist George Simon Ohm, states a simple yet profound relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. It's like a powerful guiding principle that illuminates the behavior of electrical circuits, allowing us to understand and manipulate their behavior. Ohm's law is encapsulated by a concise equation, V equals I times R. Let's break it down. V represents voltage, I denotes current, and R signifies resistance. Ohm's law tells us that the voltage across a resistor is equal to the current flowing through it multiplied by the resistance it presents. Imagine a river flowing through a narrow channel. The voltage is like the force or pressure of the water pushing through, while the current is the actual flow of water. The resistance can be likened to obstacles or narrowing points that hinder or control the water's flow. Now, let's dig deeper into each component of Ohm's law. Voltage, denoted by V, is the potential difference between two points in an electrical circuit. It's the driving force that pushes the electric charges, or electrons, along the circuit. Current, represented by I, is the flow of electric charges through a conductor, much like the flow of water in a river. It's measured in amperes, A, and indicates the quantity of charge passing through a point in the circuit per unit of time. Lastly, we have resistance, symbolized by R, which is a property of the material that opposes the flow of electric current. Think of resistance as the narrowing channel in our river analogy. It's like an obstacle that restricts the flow of electrons and dissipates some of their energy in the process. Resistance is measured in ohms, paying homage to George Simon Ohm. It can depend on various factors like the length and thickness of the wire, as well as the material it's made of. Materials with high resistance, such as certain metals or resistors, slow down the flow of electrons more than materials with low resistance. So, let's recap. Ohm's law, expressed as V equals I times R, reveals the interconnected relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. Voltage is the driving force, current is the flow of charges, and resistance hinders or controls that flow, congratulations on unlocking the secrets of Ohm's law. Armed with this knowledge, you're now equipped to understand and analyze electrical circuits with confidence. Join us in the next episode, where we'll delve deeper into the resistor function and types. <laughs>